He's the owner of this awesome bus. It's MC6, 1969, one of the, uh, one of the few Canadian uh, buses with a 12 cylinder, a V1271, 12V71. And uh, it's a bear to start. This is about as difficult as it always is to start. Cross your fingers. So what's your plans with it? Plans are for an RV. Um, the thing I like is it's wide open. That's gonna get a uh, all plywood front. I'm not gonna tackle. I was gonna drop the rent is up about seven inches back there, and um, I was gonna level everything. I think it'd be too difficult. The uh, framing around the, the battery area, the, the frame is really strong. So what I'm gonna do is get plywood here and uh, like route out grooves so it sits this uh, flush on the rail. Lip, little lips, it'll, it'll sit flush in there. I'll still screw it down, but um, I'll have it flat all the way. I figure the aisle is the same, the same way same depth all the way down. So I'll put cabinets on either side. My shower these two bays have a, have a, a, a shelf down there. This one has the same. So I'm going to put the shower over here on this side. So it's a step down shower so you have a little bit more uh, headroom. But other than that, I don't mind this headroom for, for sleeping. I'm yeah. not worried about that. Um, and everything else, this this shelf I'll, I'll take out for, for storage, probably for the water water tanks. And uh, you see the framing is really sturdy up here. Yeah. And I, I, it's it's all part, part of the structure too. Yeah, to so yeah. drop that, it would make no sense. But uh, I have it as a storage, storage vehicle for now. <laughs> but this pavement that I don't think has ever been used, the more cold refrigerator. <laughs> but see, it, it, it stopped hunting. Yep. Uh, it, it runs good. It's it does have a couple little leaks right on the the skylights, right where they the two meet on uh, both both of the skylights, front and back. So I don't know if Luke has those rubbers. Uh, seals up there or not, but um, that's something I need to do. Yeah, you could probably make your own with a universal one. Just get some like the trim lock stuff. It's just not pre molded You wouldn't have anything pre-molded that way, but you can make it your own. And then it doesn't, it doesn't leak bad. I don't know if I could put like, silicone on the outside yeah. or something. Yeah. But um, I have all glass. All the glass windshields are in. Down here. Oh, you have new windshields. Not, not the size. That's well, those are flat glass. That'll be easy to get. That's yeah. easy. But he told me I have an. It's all in boxes. Okay. Things. He told me I got both windshields and all three glass around the back. Wow. And uh, they're not really. Well, they have this spider. You yeah. Know, millions of spider cracks. But it, it's it's tight. But yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, I, I know I was lucky, but I made it from the. Idaho Washington border to South Florida in four days and it it ran flawlessly. It um six and a half miles a gallon. It, it went over the Rockies without breaking a sweat. My only sweat was the first time I realized I was in third gear at the top of the grade, of a six percent grade, that was a long one. <laughs> and I had to find 
second gear in a hurry. <laughs> um, and I did. But yeah, just ride down in a second. It has no jakes. I don't even know if they're possible to put jakes on these. I guess you can get two sixes and, and do it. Right? Yeah, you could. But, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I love the box. ones that are converted and it's amazing how much room it looks like it, you have in here. I mean, you don't get the big overstuffed house furniture, Yeah. but I mean, there, there's plenty of room in here. You, you can take you know, a couch and you still have two feet, three feet in the middle. Uh, yeah, the plan is the, the typical uh, couches and uh, I'm going to put an island over here with a, a oven in it. Open there, refrigerator there, and a seat around the, instead of a dinette, have seats around the island okay. that bolt into it. But, um, and, when, uh, when are you going to start all that? Yeah, I was going to start it this past winter, but uh, uh, as, as soon as I can. I, I don't have a timeline. You know, luckily, the bus was, was very cheap. I, and the guy sold it to me a lot less than the scrap value. He just—he was a bus guy. He didn't want to see it ruined. That's awesome. And, and, and trash. So um, he bought. He told me he bought it, and I saw paperwork. He, he bought it for twenty-five grand in '92. Wow. Drove it from Colorado to Washington, and there. Uh, yeah. It's. I like these parts too. I'm thinking of maybe doing my own photographs. And, and kind of doing it like that, like do something like in South Florida, uh, whatever, different parts of the country I may travel to. Yeah, that's cool. But, uh, it's it's a cool bus, and you just don't see many of them. So, that's the thing; there weren't very many of them made. So. Yeah, hundred, and only fifteen Canadians. And out of those, I don't know how many are on the road. I just don't know. Probably not many on the road. No, I doubt More it. More exist, but not on the road. Uh, yeah. It's definitely cool. It drives good. Four speed. I've gotten to be a, a pro at upshifting, but the, the downshifting is uh, trickier than the double clutch. A lot. It's, a, it's, a, it's an art that I have not mastered. But, um, Just got to learn to bring it up to the governor. Floor, yeah. floor of the throttle. Well, the problem, too, is this... I, I guess it's an air throttle, but this sticks a little. So you put it down there. Oh, and yeah. It doesn't want to come up. So you use your toe to, to <laughs> lift it up so it's a little bit more involved. But, um, no, I'll get the hang of it the more I drive it. But it's, uh, it has everything I need to, to be legal. It had bl blinkers on the way down. They don't work now, though. But I have lights. So it's, uh, Cool deal. I love it. The engine sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's the yeah, first time I ran fast idle and uh, I did press on. Yeah, turn it off. And it did that. Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> but it, once it warms up a little bit, it does it normal. It, okay. It, it, it's fast idle to where it's supposed to be. But, um, well, let me go in the back and you can throttle it up a little back there while I'm back there. All right. <laughs>
speedometer only goes to 80, and the speed limit was 80, so once it hit 80, I kind of backed it down. <laughs> um, I'm sure I could have gone faster, but I don't know how long. I didn't want to test it because it hadn't run very much. Yeah. I didn't want to break down, but it handled that. The only uh, time I got a little... Uh, movement, I mean, it's, it rides so stable, but there was a gust of wind coming through Montana, the flat, the eastern Montana, where it's relatively flat. Man, there was a gust, of, I don't know how fast it was, but it, it hit the bus like a, like a <laughs> left hook. It does take a while to build air. It's at 80 now, but um, it does have leaks. It has leaks down under here. Uh, you set it down. I don't know, uh, the, the, white one, the left one works, the right one doesn't. But, uh, I like your way of returning the pedal with the, with the metal tab on the top. That's not me, that's the guy who, uh, uh, that's that's Walt, uh, uh, what was the last name? Uh, Anita and Walt, I can't remember his name. So that's not an air throttle, that's a linkage, so you should be able to loop that up and get it working fine. Just, just get in there with every pivot point and maybe pull the cable on it. Yeah, I, I can see where the throttle had been fiddled with back there yeah. and welded up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good bus. It really is. I love it. For my first bus. <laughs> warm in here with all these windows. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, South Florida, you know. Yeah. Sun and fun. Yeah, the, uh, This thing kept shutting down. It, I drive it a mile, it shut down. And uh, Russ tried driving it about a mile, it shut down. So he figured he, he turned one of those uh, one of those dog ears on the uh, solenoids, flipped it backwards, so you got to manually shut it off. Um, it was just the piston, the air piston kept coming out and turning off the engine on us. But I got lucky. Does the air door work? Air door works really good. <laughs> you put a, a override switch over here, toggle. So there basically uh, is in a hole. But nice. I like the, uh, the not having the, oh, yeah. the arm. And it does last securely. So. Hopefully, hopefully by this by this time next year I'll be able to at least um, get it ready to take to some football games uh, up to Tallahassee or Jacksonville. My son's in Jacksonville, but um. I can drive it there now, but obviously it's not the most comfortable uh, <laughs> no. sleep arrangement. But. Yeah. All right.
right. Well, thank you for the tour. We appreciate it. My pleasure. <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be in touch with you, I'm sure. Yeah. So, I'm sure things will happen that I will need assistance. But um, as of now, I think it's mechanically, it's, it seems great. Yeah. There's some little things. Like that throttle, you get that all lubed up. That'll be a lot better for you. Fix a couple of those air leaks. That'll yeah, be good. They're, they're intimidating. I fixed the one under here. I didn't fix it, but I fixed it better. I mean, it was leaking so bad that it was... Uh, I got a new compression fitting, and, and uh, I was worried about over-tightening, you know, because brass. But I got it to the point where it, it held pretty good. I mean... That's awesome. Buzz and buzz. I took the uh, guardrail out there. It's pretty empty in here. <laughs> I mean, usually it's pretty full. That's threading the needle. <laughs> yeah, it's not the most uh, room you ever get in a place, but they only charge 135 a month, so it's really not. And for down here, that's cheap. That's rocking, yeah. Rocking. You see these old fiberglass campers? They, I don't know if they'll ever get in the road again.
big pickup for as heavy a bus it is. Oh yeah. It moves. At least once a month. Last month I was I just started and I didn't drive it anymore. It's air actuated back there and mechanical, but the air throttle was not mounted on the governor like they normally are. So, but yeah, you'll never be able to get the shift smooth if it doesn't drop back down to idle. <laughs> Cutting in front of you and stopping. Yeah. No, it's okay. This car is only worth five times the sister. More, more than that. I only paid twenty one hundred for the bus, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Oh yeah. It's uh, you know, it's gonna take work and money to get to get it going the way I want it. The way I look at it, you couldn't buy an old eighty seven Aerostar for twenty one hundred bucks. And then fix that up, so yep.
that spot, it was so much easier. Oh, yeah.